So in step five, we are going to add a speaker to our TV. We're going to create small dark gray circles. Um, for an even circle, again, you just hold down the shift key and then select the circle while holding the shift alt keys so that I create a second copy of the circles that are going to be horizontally aligned. And then um, when the newly created circles is selected, I can press the Control D button three more times to repeat the previous step and create a group of circles exactly the same distance from each other. Okay, so let's try that out. Holding down my Alt and my Shift key. And they did it five times, so. Use my arrows key to kind of make sure that's lined up. I can also just say, there we So I'm just going to try to line these up.
I'm just selecting all of these. I just did control C, control F. And it's just a matter of make, keeping them straight. These little intersection lines somewhat help. <clears throat> Doesn't need to be perfect though. I'm going to select all these and then group them. If you're better at getting them lined up than me, go for it. I am not the best at lining things up like that. I could go and get guidelines and guide them up though if I wanted to. So there's our speaker for now. And then in order to move the objects with more precision, we need to enable the smart guides. That's what I was just talking about. Um, so I can do view rulers, show rulers, and then you can like move over the smart guide. If I wanted to, I could zoom on in. Then I can see which ones are lined up correctly and which ones aren't. Again, um, but having smart guys out, we're going to let's see. Draw a circle with a gray fill and no stroke color to make an even circle. Use the ellipses tool holding down the shift key, create a copy, and then smaller exactly in the middle. Let's see. 
going to be 216, 213, and 206. And then control copy, control F, paste it right on top. And let's see, object, path. Say offset path negative two, and that's going to be two forty seven, two forty five, two forty. If I hold down my shift key, I can also make that just a little bit smaller if need be. And I can use my arrow key to center it up. There you go. Okay. And then using the rectangle tool, um, We're going to create a gray rectangle and place it exactly in the middle of the circle. Create a copy of this rectangle in front and decrease its width. Um, place it exactly in the middle of the original one and change the color to the light. So what that's going to look like is... Rectangle... I can use my eyedropper tool to match it to the gray. And grab all that. Middle. skinnier but still keep the height and I'm gonna match it to the white Let's see there. okay Okay, so now place the manual switch on the right side of the TV. You can slightly rotate it to the side to have the rectangle not precisely in the vertical position. Um, so let's see. And now with a smart guide. So, looks like I accidentally crouped that in with the, um, sometimes that happens where you accidentally group in with that so I can it 
size it all down, rotate it. So I'm going to actually undo for just a second because it looks like I accidentally made it more of an oval. So hold it down that shift key that will stop that. There we go. And I'm going to copy and paste, rotating it a different direction so they're not going the same direction. Okay. So in the next step, I'm going to show you how to do the antenna.